So the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090 is going to be launching in October of 2022. The main reason that this is extremely cool is because October is when my birthday comes out. And I mean, I might be 32 years old and have the baby face of a 15 year old and also sound like a seven year old. But my friends, I'm still going to buy my own self a birthday present. So because it is an excuse to piss away a thousand dollars is going to be a very cool month however let's go over this article nvidia geforce rtx 4090 is going to be launching in october 2022 of course and then the rtx 4080 is going to be launching in november of 2022 they know that they can sell a lot more by releasing these graphics cards during this time period so most of this article is like a bunch of fluff, but there is some portions of this article that we do need to read because there's some pretty cool stuff that does end up being mentioned. Our sources also pointed that the GeForce RTX 4080 is gonna get two variants, one being a 16 gigabyte model and then the other being a 12 gigabyte model. We've heard these rumors before, but based on the data that is provided to us, it does look like the 16 gigabyte model is going to have reference TGP of 340 watts, while the 12 gigabyte model will have a reference TGP of 285 watts. Now, this has nothing to do with the article, but I live in New Hampshire and our power like price doubled. A couple months ago like literally doubled overnight overnight like not i'm not talking like a couple months voice crack i know still hitting puberty in my 30s so which explains what i said at the beginning of this video so my point in saying this my friends is uh your electric bills like going to go up using these so let's go ahead and continue here then or let's continue in the next paragraph the nvidia geforce rtx 4080 16 gigabyte gddr6x lots of letters and numbers there variant is expected to utilize a 12 layer pcb while the other variant was said to feature a 12 gigabyte gddr6x vram configuration and a 10 layer pcb design the first card is going to be aimed primarily at an aic and reference design while the second model is only going to be in AIC variant. So we have a bunch of specs that are going to be on screen right now and I'm not like the best with numbers and knowing exactly what all of these mean but from what I am seeing that's a pretty big jump from 4080 to 4090. Personally I don't have a problem with this I really don't care the way I see stuff in life is if you like to do something, if you have a hobby, it is always going to cost you money, right? If you like cars, like myself, you're pissing money away on your suspension. You're pissing money away on the wheels for the car, good tires for the car, camber kit for the car, new lights for the car, wrapping your car. Cars are money pits. If you want a gaming PC, please wait. <laughs> please wait, bro. Like, I'm just like rumors leaks with nvidia have been pretty for the most part pretty stable right so the, the odds are this is going to be very accurate and true my friends the next generation of pc gaming is going to like be awesome so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video remember to check out one of these videos on screen like the video and all that good stuff you know guys you know what to do i don't need to tell you so yeah Check out one of these videos. Peace.